Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to connect to several SQL Server instances in one click. That's called Registered Servers Group. So we are going to take a look at how we create it and how we run the query. Now let's go ahead and open the SSMS. Right now, I'm connected with two SQL Server instances. One is Amir PC backslash SQL 2014, and other one is the SQL 2016. Think about these two SQL Server instances are development SQL Server instances. And if somebody or my manager asks me, hey, provide me the database list for all those servers. So what I will do, I will open the query for the first instance and run this query. Now, I will take the results, put in Excel, and then I will take the same query and go to the next instance. Open a new query, paste the query, execute and take the results and put into excel so if i have 10 sql server instances in development i will be opening first of all i will be connecting with all of them second i will be opening a separate query windows and running the query and then taking the results and putting it into excel to provide to my manager how about that if i can create a group of development servers and I can use uh, the same query one time and uh, get the results for all those uh, SQL Server instances. Uh, now, let's go ahead and create that. We will be go to View and go to Registered Servers. Uh, and here on the Local Server Groups, uh, right click and uh, New Server Group. Uh, provide the name, uh, let's call this one uh, Development Servers uh, or Server Group. You can provide a description if you like. Now, the second part is adding the SQL Server instance uh, or instances uh, to the group. Uh, right click and go to the new server registration. Uh, and here we have to provide the name. Uh, in my case, it is Amir PC backslash SQL, sorry, 2014. Test it, works just fine. Save it. Uh, right click again and then uh, add a next uh, server. So, Amir PC backslash SQL. 2016 sorry test it and save it now we need to run this query on these both uh, servers uh, so what we will do we will click on the group uh, and then uh, go to the new query once we hit that uh, a new query window will open the color uh, is different uh, so you can change the, this color right now it's pink uh, you can also go to the uh, uh, tools and options and uh, there uh, you have the property to change this color if you like to different color but anyways uh, we can paste our query here and run it uh, if you run your query you will get two things uh, you will always get the server name uh, as there are multiple servers are in this uh, group uh, next uh, the query results uh, so you see that we have a sql server 2016 here and uh, these are the database names and uh, again we have SQL 2014 on all, all the databases so I'm uh, creating uh, this group uh, running uh, this query on all those uh, SQL Server instances uh, in this uh, group uh, the same way I created this development server group uh, you can create the QA server group uh, UAT server group and production 